Changing gears now, making and looking at lanterns are some of the traditional highlights of the Chinese Lantern Festival. This year's festival arrives on Sunday and residents can see some lantern, lanterns made of recycled materials in one Shanghai neighborhood. Sun Jutong has the details. This lantern is made from 20,000 medicine bottles. Gu Yi Garden asked artists from Sichuan province to collect them, sterilize them, fill them with colorful water, and use them to make killings, a mythical Chinese animal that represents good luck. The result looks as good as traditional lanterns made from paper, fabrics, and plastics. It's so beautiful that I want my six-month-old daughter to look at it too. It's amazing. I think there should be more lanterns that we can have interaction with. And at this gallery, visitors can see lanterns made of disposable cups, bamboo sticks, waste bags, and even red envelopes, all handmade by kindergarten students. Some visitors say they were surprised to see the kids being so innovative. I like this one. The Lantern Festival back in my hometown is not as good as this one. The lanterns here are both environmentally friendly and beautiful. Managers of Gui Garden say they will retrieve the materials in the lanterns after the festival ends to make sculptures for other events. And they will keep the green festival concept as a new tradition at the 500-year-old garden. There are over 30 lanterns this year in our garden, and 20% of them are made of recycled materials, such as fabrics and bottles. The cost is higher than normal lanterns. For example, artists spend three times more time on the killings than a traditional one. The public response on the microblog is very good. <laughs> Besides the lanterns, visitors can take part in interactive events such as line dance, <laughs> guessing lantern riddles, and tasting some snacks from Taiwan. The festival will wrap up next Wednesday. Xin Song, ICS for CCTV Shanghai.